Um, okay, so we'll we'll go to to Yumi's character, uh, and you will be uh, you've basically tracked um, someone from Glasgow, which is the capital of Scotland, uh, to this inn. Now, no one else in the party really noticed this guy. He's, he's pretty good, but because you were in particular on the lookout for any signs or any clues, like you're almost getting desperate at this point. It's been like months since you saw your sister. Um, and your clue led you to oversee a gathering, a, a, a meeting between two individuals um, in the back streets of Glasgow. Now, they were conducting this meeting at the side of what looked like uh, there were some crates there um, and there was kind of like this hole in the wall which looked as though it had been recently expanded upon um, and there was they were having discussions the individual you chose to follow uh, left and made its way down to Strelang uh, and went into the inn and seemed to be paying close attention in particular to Harley and then also a little bit to Rizzo as well um, you, you sort of observe the gentleman and think that perhaps these people may know more about the mark or, or indeed what the gentleman would be observing them for. Perhaps you would want to tell them they were being watched. Uh, the gentleman, however, does leave and seems to be making his way back to Glasgow. Uh, would you care to follow the gentleman or would you care to inform the poor individuals seemingly oblivious around the table to this gentleman's presence that they were being watched by someone you are suspecting of kidnapping uh what did this uh this gentleman as you continue to refer to him even though he's clearly a uh, filthy kidnapping piece of shit what does he uh what does he look like what's he wearing um very it, it's that kind of that typical nondescript kind of dark clothing like a scruffy beard um human uh, or at least looks human um kind of not dirty just like rough rough around the faces maybe like the odd few scars here and there um but just yeah just a thug type look about him um yeah he, he's very dark dark clothing okay i'm going to uh i'm gonna approach the table i'm gonna put down like i'm not, I'm not even gonna say hi or anything i'm just gonna put down like both of my hands on the table and i'm gonna lean in I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak kind of quietly. I'll be. I'm gonna look at them. I wanna say, do you guys? Do you guys realize you were you were being watched? Uh, now we do. Yeah, I apologize for Rizzo's accent, by the way. If you weren't prepared, you might want to turn the volume down a little bit. <laughs> I uh, I think I'll survive. <laughs> I'm gonna say. <laughs> What I'm gonna start like asking a bunch of questions. Watched okay. by whom? Well, I don't, I don't know. It's just some guy sitting over there. What did he look like? He was just some dude in like dark clothes. He had like fucked up face. I think he's. How do you fucker. know he was watching us? Because I was watching him watch you. Where did he come from? I don't. He came from Glasgow. Mm -hmm away no start from the beginning and tell me everything you saw just saw a guy watching you i thought you might want to be uh informed that there was an individual observing you you know where he went i oh, pointed at the door the way, yeah he went back the way you came you would have got a note of that before yeah i pointed at the door I'm gonna um, lean in. Go ahead. <clears throat> what, if, what do you reckon? What was that? This is leaning into Harley, sorry. I don't know. It's like you said, that we'd have to watch over our shoulder all the time. <sighs> I didn't think they'd be here already, though. That's, that's... I thought you said you got a guy out here already. Got one, but I guess they must be spreading out in wider circles because this uh, this is the second one in as many days. Like, 
I thought they would come for me, but I didn't know that they would be this adamant about it. Well, this piece of shit is Sainas. We need to go fuck him up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't want to. Can I uh, make a roll to try and eavesdrop on them? Sure. You're standing well, okay, if you're I not guess. being too subtle about standing it, standing right there. How how subtle are you being? Uh, not overly subtle. It was more kind of leaning in close, so it's probably still an earshot. So, yeah, you you speaking can gnomish. Ooh, am I speaking Ooh. gnomish? Yes. All right, we're speaking gnomish. So you can you can hear what they're saying. It just sounds like. It's all French to me. Yeah. It sounds like French, yeah. Je ne sais quoi. Fucking Frenchies, man. <laughs> uh, okay. So you have been given this information. What do you wish to do? Uh, are you going to inform anyone else of, of what's going on, or are you just like... So One Eyes sat at the table with us, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. You you know One Eyes, so he would have, have sat down with you from whatever, I don't know, trip he he's been on since since your last meeting what would you have been doing when i actually you know goliath things just goliath stuff yeah yeah you know climbing like a mountain trees. shit like that <laughs> yeah working on that depth <laughs> perception like <laughs> oh god is he is he a one-eyed goliath he is no, wearing but, uh, an eye patch. oh because he's got the eye patch. right yeah. i remember now yeah. i remember yeah. that from like five minutes ago now Yep. Yeah. It's all suddenly coming back to me. <laughs> I'll ask so, yeah. Rizzle. It's quite an interesting group, help. actually. We have a tiefling and two gnomes and a goliath. So Goliaths just like they go with anything though. They're like they're like cheese. You can put that shit on anything. <laughs> or like okay. Frank's red hot hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I will ask Rizzle if he you think he'll he would help. How do you know him again? We went on this crazy place. There was mirrors and I got so lost. Some huge mushrooms. <gasps> giant mushrooms. I got lost in some mirrors and mushrooms too. Was there a Norse looking motherfucker at the end of that? <laughs> Oh my god, no way! Okay. <laughs> anyway, do you think he would help? I'm gonna stare at the uh, at the two gnomes like screaming about this Norse looking motherfucker in gnomish and I'm in just gnomish. like should it go bra bar I mean we have money she we can understand. pay him. That's true. Well we got a shitload of money. I know. Oh. Hey, hey, one eye. Yes, you one. can understand this because one eye doesn't understand gnomish. Yeah, I've clearly swapped back. Now I'm talking to one eye. That's why I addressed him. <laughs> so yeah, speaking common from now on until I say otherwise. Um, hey, uh, we gotta go kill this dude. Uh, you game? I'm game for killing dudes. Sweet. Are you game for killing dudes? I asked the tiefling. I'm not entirely sure that I want him dead. What do you want I, him for? You seem not to care. I have reasons to believe that this man may have kidnapped my sister. I give Rizzo a look. Like, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Uh, Sam, roll me an intelligence check, actually, to see if you pick up on that look. Because Rizzo's not the smartest. You literally need to attach a note to the end of a bit of 2 by 4 and slap it around his face for him to pick up on things. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have no fucking clue. Possibly I'm something nodding. about... I'm, like, I'm yeah. curious what he does think I mean. <laughs> what would you think from from that? How would you misinterpret that to the worst of your ability? Like, 
here now? People around, like, all right. <laughs> Did we get botches as well? So yeah, he he seems to be under the impression that you're propositioning him. I start unbuckling my belt. I slap your hand. <laughs> no, what? that's not what I mean. Oh, Stop. shit, sorry. I mean. Listen, so I'm speaking gnomish again. She thinks this guy kidnapped her sister. That's what, that's what they did. That's what they do. Oh, shit. The other girls, right? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I'm rebuckling my pants. Rizzle clearly <laughs> thought you were on for a three-way or something like. <laughs> oh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take my fucking like Dark Brotherhood a shit fucking note, and I'm gonna I'm gonna like just put it on the table. Ali, you recognize that note? Uh, you recognize that that dragon it's head? It's just a plain sheet of paper with a uh, with what kind of mark literally on it? Literally just it's literally just like the symbol. Um, yeah. Like the symbol that I, mean, I saw on the chest of the guy yesterday. Yep, yep, yep. That's and I'm going to say that's the only, the only thing that I found. I'll pick it up and look at it and say, where did you get this? In common. Saying, where did I get this in common? Uh, you, this was all that was left um, from your sister's bedroom, basically, where she was captured. Um, it was like the middle of the night. Nothing else was was disturbed. There was literally just a note left. In fact, everything looked as though she may have run away, and this note was left behind. But that's not your sister. Your sister wouldn't have run away. That kind of yeah. Yes, Jonabus. Can I roll a religion check to see if all my studying of Odin may have referenced something like this? Sure, you can see if that symbol has any religious connotations. Yeah. Are there dragons in Norse mythology? Some. What did you roll? A 15? Uh, you would understand that this symbol... Mm, on a 15, um, it may it may have religious connotations, it may not. Uh, you would have needed a pretty good roll to get like a specific read on that mark. Um, I it doesn't relate think I saw that in a book somewhere. Um, maybe a book of cults, possibly. Bless you. And again. They won't come. <laughs> I, hate it, yeah. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. All too familiar, man. Uh, I mean, honestly. Don't worry, we get you. <laughs> wow. Pardon me. I need to lower the tone. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not the one that was unbuckling my pants in public. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't snort a line right before the game. <laughs> you think I? You think I'd learn? Oh, okay. Just, just whilst we're having a little momentary snort for gunpowder pause, you can check out down down there. Um, there is actually a retweet counter where you can see how many retweets out of our target we are at before we have a giveaway. Now, what's a giveaway? A giveaway could be anything. Uh, we have had Steam games. We've had books. In fact. I think everyone apart from Yumi has had a book signed by Squeegee um, sent to them. We have monster manuals, which may or may not have had indecent things done to them and then posted on Twitter about. Um, we may have... Sarah, do you have two books from Squeegee now? I don't have both of them, but I've won two. Okay, and I have won a DMG as well. So you can possibly win an official Dungeons & Dragons hardback book. Uh, you could also win Destiny tokens, Unnatural Dice tokens, which could be used in any of the games that you see on stream. Um, just just lots of, of options. Um, and it changed. We, we just don't know what it's going to be until Squeegee makes his mind up when we hit that target. I mean, until we hit the target and what he has planned and in place is brought to, to everyone's attention, clearly. Um, but yeah, get those uh, retweeting fingers tweeting he says, realizing he has not actually tweeted the tweet himself. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, I failed my bad. Um, and that will 
foot us. Oh, wow, that face, that face is amazing. I would have thought that would have put people off retweeting, though. So, yeah, there we go. We're up to 16, by the way. It's pretty good. Okay, um, so you guys have seen this note being put down. Um, John Wills, do you recognize it as a cult symbology, possibly something related? Harley knows exactly what it is. Um, Rizzle has never seen it before in his life and uh takisha only knows it from that that's the only clue she has to the disappearance of her sister okay so i'm gonna say where did you get this it was in my sister's bedroom it was all that was left after she was taken from me she's a member of the cult i don't know Where... Thank you, Pyromancy. <laughs> oh, retreat. Uh, from a city? Where did you where did you live? You could have been from the city, yeah. Sure. Yeah. She she she's from Glasgow, yeah. Well, they were right about one thing. They're getting bolder then. Who's they? You have no no affinity or not good with words. Um a filmulation. You don't want these thank you. <laughs> Pat Rizzle on the arm. When I was just nodding at the <laughs> intelligence of the gnome. <laughs> you want these guys brought to justice. Yes. Well, this is to the tiefling I'd, I'd prioritize finding my sister, but yeah. This is the symbol of some people who I knew. And I maybe have an idea of where your sister is, but I'm not excited about going to find her, to be honest. Because in all likelihood, they will probably kill me and him. So that's where we're at. I'll uh, I'll I'll nod and I say so. Uh, where where do you think they're keeping her? In the Black Forest. Zang, do I know anything about the uh, the Black Forest? Uh, the Black Forest is generally an area to the east of where you are now. Uh, it used to be a stronghold of the orcs and goblins before they were pushed back to the mountains in one of the Great Wars. Um, people don't really go into that area because it's still pretty rough. Um, there are regular raids from the mountains. Uh, there is a keep um, further down. Um, to the southeast, the the keep of Ben, which is like the, the sort of the front line, if you like, the the first line of defense, that kind of thing. Uh, but the black the the black forest is basically a very very easy way for the orcs to go through to attack anywhere in the center of Scarland because it is quite central. You will, however, know that the guy you were following has headed back to Glasgow. So he himself was not directly from the Black Forest. At least, that's not where you encountered him. And he seems to be going back to wherever he was. It's not like anyone has anything important in Glasgow, is it? Oh wait, no, Rizzle does. If that guy still has her though, it would be better if we could avoid going into the forest because uh, there's four of us i'm not sure that's enough i didn't get a good look at where they were hiding out but there was a lot of dudes 
if you want to catch that guy, we can probably help with that. I mean, I want that guy dead anyway. He, he, if he's watching us, uh, he's not long for this world. Okay. I can bull rush him. I'm good at that. You can bull rush him. You're right. <laughs> okay. So it sounds like we're we're getting somewhere. Do you guys? What do you guys want to do? I'm not uh, against uh, going after the guy in in Glasgow. I mean, it's, we can ask him uh, well, questions well, before well, we kill him. Well, you me, come on. It's not it's Glasgow. Not like I didn't say Glasgow. Yes, it's you Glasgow. did. No, I said Glasgow. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are on about. Watch the shit when it comes out on YouTube. You'll see. I did not say Glasgow. I would have. <laughs> I am not uh, trolling saying Mac, you guys are all crazy. At youtube.com forward slash evil squidgy raw. Rawr. 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 Whatever. Rawr. That one. Uh, okay. Sam's like, oh, that's fuck very this. I'm just going to take the <laughs> Sorry, sorry Rizzo. Sorry, sorry, Rizzo. You, you were saying something. Yeah. I just had to step in and just be very clear. That this was not Scotland. I understand. Glasgow. You have to. You have to keep yourself safe from those. Uh, those damned copywriting Scots. I know. I know. So, okay. yeah, all, all right, so it's just like, we. We can ask him some questions before we kill him if that's what you're after. I'll. Uh, I'm mad. Okay, let's go. Because the more time wasted. Here, chatting, the more distance he's getting between us. This is a fair point. Okay. How so you tall guys is gonna... the ceiling? How tall is the ceiling? In you probably have to duck your head. You I'm seven tall. foot four. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably about seven foot. Yeah. You okay, so I stand to... up and like head butt for getting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not awkward at all. <laughs> The things I suffer for Odin. <laughs> exactly. First one eye. Now Homer Simpson brain. <laughs> um, I'm okay, going to so... put my hood up and my mask on. Okay. Anyone want to do any last minute preparations before we, we sort of head out the end? That looks like where we're going. I finished my drink. Okay. That is a very important last minute preparation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my paper back. Yeah, you keep a hold of that. Yeah. It's my fucking paper. Y'all can't fucking keep your dirty gnome paws off it. I don't want that on you. Is that a character? You take it. <laughs> I um, should okay. specify, I'm not playing a racist asshole today. <laughs> <laughs> You're a tiefling. You're used to the, the aggression coming the other way. Maybe maybe you get a bit salty about it and you're like, oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, I get victimized too. Okay, fine. Um, okay, so... You guys make your way to Glasgow, where you're not wanted by the law in the slightest. Oh, wait. Pibs. Yeah. Yeesh. About that. So, how do you propose oh, to get into Glasgow? Uh, sorry. Ha! Huh, Glasgow. You should wear the hood and the mask, Rizzle. On my hip. Okay. Just saying. Makes You're sense. the one who's got his poster up. That's true. Oh, In fact, man. on the way to um, Glasgow, you do come across the odd poster. You know, like the, the wanted billboard type thing. And uh, and there is a badly drawn picture of, uh, of Rizzle on some of these. With a reward of, I don't know, how notorious were you? Uh, it's literally just like monetary symbols. It's a non-specific reward. Okay. Um, so you wish to uh, you, you you will come up to uh, let's say the the northern gate. Uh, there are there are a couple of guards you know doing the the standard checking people for weapons and stuff like that passing through. You know what's your profession? You know what's your business? That kind of thing. Um, and there's a couple of people ahead of you. Uh, are you wanting to do anything particular to disguise yourself? Other than the the hood and things like that, or uh, I'm going to begrudgingly. 
cast Minor Illusion on my face. Oh, you are. Because you can do yes. that as a gnome. Okay. And uh, what illusion are you doing? Just distorting all of my features, basically. So it looks like I've just got, like, swollen eye and just, like, you know, beaten to hell, essentially. Okay. Um, so as you... Uh, do you have to actually roll anything for that? I don't, I don't think, think so, do. no. 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 Is that the one use only thing, or is that the cantrip? That's it's the cantrip, the cantrip. Isn't... Yeah, okay. Um, so you'll, you'll all approach the, the guards. Well, name and purpose. He'll say to the group, generally. Arizonia! Roll me a deception. <laughs> With advantage for your illusion. Did you just negate? Oh, yeah, okay. A double 17. Wow, that advantage was useful. That um, was definitely useful. <laughs> double 17. <laughs> Rosonia. Um, all right. What's your business? Just taking in the sights, you know. And and your friends? He'll, he'll look at everyone. Looking at the, the two gnomes, a tiefling and a goliath. Like, so hang on. I step forward. <laughs> this isn't your everyday party. Like. So, so one eye steps forward and he goes, I am Ilukan, a devout of Odin. And uh, I've come to rest my feet from my latest pilgrimage. Uh, all right. Oh, all right. <laughs> and I know that I just walked past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's not going to stop you, okay? Anyone else offering anything? I'm going to, uh... <laughs> I'm going to, um, to walk past the guard, and I'm going to point at, uh, at the big-ass Goliath, whose name I cannot be bothered to remember or pronounce. And, one um... Eye. Just say one eye. And, and, well, that's not how you introduced yourself to him. I'm, I'm just going to point at him and say, I'm his bodyguard, and then I'm just going to walk past. <laughs> all, all right. I guess someone that big needs a bodyguard? All right. <laughs> and then he'll look at Harley, finally. I'm Jack. I'm here, because I'm an adventurer. And he'll wave you through. Uh, okay, so you have all. Wow, infiltrating Glasgow was so hard. Good job, guys. Whew, that was a uh... that was an experience, right? Uh, okay, so you should now see a pretty map of Glasgow. It's Glasgow. Well, at least this section of it. Uh, Rizzle, you are in. You will find yourselves in the top right area. Uh, Rizzle, if you look down towards the bottom left, um, you're very familiar with this section in particular that I'm pinging. This section is where your hideout is. I can't see your pin. Oh, okay. It's down in the bottom left. There's a little pile of rubble. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, I guess, because line of sight blocking shit. Yeah. I do okay. see you pinging the blackness. Yeah, so down there is, is where your stash is, oh, your hideout. Okay. okay. Um, first things you will see when you enter this area is it's a bustling market. There are lots of people here. Um, there are people trying to sell things. There's people moving stuff around. There's the usual guards kind of on each exit, apart from the one you've just come through, because there's guards on the other end of that exit. Um, in front of you, there's, there's the sounds of a band playing like uh, you know a, a little troop of musicians uh, and there seems to be a small crowd sort of fo uh, formed around them um off to the side you can see like a little kitty running away from this area um looks like he's up to no good um that's that's this this little kitty down here quite clearly running away up to mischief uh, and it's, it's just your general bustling market you know you've got the usual smells you've got people trying to, to sell like baked goods or meats or or fruit or or just well whatever you could think of um you can see here 
there is what looks like a patrol making its way through um this area and sam because you know glasgow quite well you know that it's pretty much like a grid pattern um and that these patrols tend to move from like a corner of the grid to a corner of the grid so there will be like other patrols in the area um and they're all dressed up in in sort of uh, the regular garb for for Glasgow. Uh, there's a there's sort of standard formation of two uh, guys in front with shields and two guys behind with crossbows. Um, and Eddie's being a complete muppet. Okay, um, so yeah, you you enter Glasgow. I'll ask the tiefling. Do you, do you see the guy? I look around. You do not. Well, in fact, you he's he's not here so you, you do not see him i won't make you roll for that because that would be a pointless roll um he he isn't in the market area that you can see um the area you saw him was actually down in the southeast in an alleyway near a pile of rubble right so i'm gonna say no but i think i know where he might be and then i'm gonna go i'm, I'm assuming on this map up is north Correct, yeah. So I'm going to head to the southeast. You're going to start making your way through the, the market itself. Okay. Um, in fact, Harley, roll me a perception check, please. Oh my god, I just noticed how big this one token is. And actually, quite a few of these civilian tokens are fucking huge. Yeah, they're just generic tokens. Just uh, Just roll with it, it's fine. Uh, Sam, your illusion fail. Your, your illusion falls. Only lasts for a minute. I'll uh, okay. It. Okay. Uh, Harley, you recognise this person. You recognise the face at least. He is. Uh, he's a nobleman who seemed to frequent your uh, your your previous circle of people for entertainment purposes. Uh, he seems to be flanked by two rather powerful looking guards and is enjoying the, the music being played uh, at this point. Uh, I will look super uncomfortable and like try to hide behind Rizzle as we're walking. Okay. But I don't feel that I, the need to bring it up yet. No, that's fine. Um, it's just information that you would notice because you're of the sneaky sneak. Sure. Okay. Um, so as you're making your way through the, the market, the guards patrol will make their way up to, to sort of this area. Um, and in fact, as you sort of look down as they do, another guard patrol sets its way off down that way. And as far as you're concerned, another patrol will be seen kind of making its way into the market area. So you can guess that there are maybe a patrol of four patrolling this particular area. So there are a lot of guards. Yep, exactly. In like a rotational pattern. Um, and in fact, yeah, as they see these guards popping in at the back, they will make their way off to, to this corner as, as quick as they can. Just generally taking things in. And Sam, your illusion was recast. That's fine. You, you look as though you're a beat up, nasty looking little gnome. Hey, that's Rizzle, right? So now I see a danger to me and a danger to Rizzle. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, it would be great, a distraction or nighttime or not being here at all. Preferably all three. Well, you know. I'm going to look at Harley and I'm going to say, it was your idea. Yeah, I'm starting to regret it. We Come could on, go to the go forest. Um, so with my illusion being held, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna shout as loud as I can. <clears throat> hey, thief! Thief! He stole my purse! And point to that little kid running away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'll do one, two, 
Wow. And for him, there's another group as well. Well, while Zang okay. is doing that, I'm just going to quickly summarize this entire exchange as, man, you know it would be nice? Something to keep these guys from noticing us. Oh, really? Let me just draw everybody's attention. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> the, uh, the guards over here will look... Uh, let's do this in... Yeah, so the guards that are on the, the side will look at you, Rizzle, and you're pointing at the, the kitty who's making a runner, right? The kitty will kind of look over at you as if to say, what? I didn't steal his purse. And then look at his hand and he is holding a purse. He's like, oh, <laughs> you know, oh shit. okay. So he turns, he basically books it back away from the guards who are now looking at him into the center of town. The guys over here start making their way forwards into the center. These guys start making their way forwards through the crowd into the center. And these guys also move forwards. Um, they seem to be reacting to what you're throwing down. However, <laughs> the patrolling group, <laughs> the patrolling group don't seem to have noticed. I'm actually wondering if one I would realize it's a hoax or if he would just bull rush this kid. Would you like to uh, roll intelligence? Okay. <laughs> That way, I kind of want this to bop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You know what's going on. Yeah, okay, you cool. wisened up. You can. You sort of. You go. What is he? And you look around, and you're kind of like, Yeah, I need to go. Oh, wait. Hang on. He's clearly come from the bottom and gone up that way. He's not coming from where Rizzle is. Yeah, that's 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 a yeah, that's a ploy. Cool. It's fine. So as these guards are moving in, <clears throat> I'm going to turn to Ali Bay. Hey, stick with one eye, all right? I'll stay here and catch up with you guys later. What? Why? Well, if I bugger off now, and if the kid stole my coin purse. It looks weird if I disappear now, like I don't care about it. You're going to talk to all those guards. It's cool, it's cool. I got this. Don't worry about it. Well, keep your face like that. Suddenly, this game could go in a completely different direction. Oh, yes. How quickly can I throw a gallows map together? Um, <laughs> oh my god. I bull rushed the gallows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, Rizzle says this to you, Harley. So, do you want to catch up to the others? Uh, I look really reluctant, but yes, I do. Okay. The guards seem to be uh, pretty adept, actually, at dealing with people in this market square. And they kind of are making this noose around the center. Um, the kid failed his stealth check, so he is quite obviously stood on the fountain, like, uh, 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 which, which way, like, he's not sure which way he goes. Uh, okay, so, uh, Rizzo, you're going to stay there for a bit. Uh, I want to focus on the other three. And then I'll jump back to you. So, you guys, um, Takesha, what are you doing? Um, I'm still moving towards the direction in which I found uh, the, okay. the, the jerk face dude. You would know you could go to the west or to the south to get to where you were. Um, either way would work. You're actually pretty familiar with Glasgow as well. So, yeah, you would know where you're going. Wait, I thought you said the southeast. You did. West. West. My bad. Southwest? Okay. It's the southwest. I'm in totally wrong direction. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. So it's it's all yeah. around this big circular area. That's okay. It's a big circle. It's meant it's meant to be gone around. What's up with this dude with like the white? He looks like a superhero. Uh he seems to be a guard. Actually, there's another guy wearing white armor next to him. Yeah, flanking... he doesn't have like a white cape or oh, there's that he's, too. he's flanking that really important looking person. Not a random Norse-looking motherfucker, just a random important person that looks familiar to Harley. I am may not, may not walking over a, there. Of Nordic descent. I Possibly. am going up to the roof. Okay, so Harley doesn't seem to be following you guys. Wow, are we splitting the party up already? Happy days. Well, I'm <laughs> going to follow them. Wait, because that's... Uh, oh, yeah. 
so yeah, you're southwest. To the east. You're going east. Southwest, you mean? You want to be coming this way. I was going the right way. It's okay. Yep, you knew what you were doing. <laughs> I know. I know. I know the difference yeah, between east and west. South, Don't. We're doing fine. If she's it's fine. going south, I'm going on the roof. If she's going this way, I'll be on the ground. That's fine. Okay. Um, so you, you guys kind of make your way out of the marketplace. You leave the, the sounds and the noise of the, the band playing a merry tune um, and, and start beginning to, to sort of head down this way. Now, you sort of walking down the streets, it seems you're coming into like a warehousey area. It seems to be where all the merchants store their goods. So there's, there's various different warehouses and things beside you. Uh, and in fact, you can sort of see in some of the doors are open. Um, it doesn't seem like security is a huge thing here because the streets are so well guarded. Um, there seem to be these patrols going everywhere. So um, that's that. And you, you will walk past like none of you are wanted. Um, Harley, I don't believe you have any outstanding convictions or anything in Glasgow in particular. No. So nope. the guards, they might kind of look at you as you walk past, but they're not overly bothered. You know, you're just an adventurer who happens to be with a Goliath and a tiefling. Um, so you guys will, will quite happily walk past them yep and then sort of make it south um honey you've been to rizzle's hideout before haven't you yes so as you get down to sort of this area it's going to start looking actually a bit familiar you maybe you maybe didn't come into glasgow through the north entrance before you probably come in through the east or the south um so you come at it from a different direction but some of these buildings are starting to look familiar and you kind of get that you know that sickening feeling where you kind of know somewhere and you kind of think hmm, something bad's coming? You start Harley feeling that. Is intimately familiar with that feel. Uh, in fact, you, you want to be heading down this way and over to this section of the alleyway. Um, but if you can stop here, I will... Uh, as soon as she looks to turn down this alleyway, which is where Rizzle's stash is, you get that real pit of the like, stomach, oh shit, feeling. And we'll jump back to Rizzle, who's oblivious. Hi, Rizzle. So, the guards will slowly encroach upon this poor guy who is like, now you get closer, like, he looks like he's young, but he's probably about 14, 15, street urchin type, you know, not not unlike yourself sort of growing up as a guard see that there's a few there they'll kind of make their way back to various points there's like there's enough people to to surround him and uh the the boy will be like it wasn't it, it, it's not i don't have his purse and he's holding a purse in his hand uh and the guards will look over at you and at the boy is this your purse Uh, does it have the initials B A M on the side? Roll me a D twenty. If I don't guess that Pulp Fiction reference, I'll kiss them. Eighteen. It has the initials B A D on it. Uh. And the, the guy will kind of show it to, to one of his other, like, other guardsmen. And they'll sort of shrug. Oh, it's close enough. And they'll give you the purse. And then they'll take the boy by the collar and, like, drag him off. Um, you know there's, like, a guardhouse off to the side. So the the, the kitty will be protesting. He's like, it's, it's not his. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, and will be dragged off. And then the guards will kind of... Justice served. There you go. Enjoy your visit. Like that kind of stuff. And you now have a coin purse with the initials. Justice served. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> zog zog. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, boys. We're going home. <laughs> so. Met my quota. <laughs> yeah. Justice is served. That's how we do in the city of Glasgow. Sweet. I'm going to go catch up with the rest of them. Okay, roll me perception. Oh, 
recast my uh, okay. I'm just promise. Basically, like as soon as I get an opportunity, I'm just recasting the solution. Sure, sure. So, um, roll me a perception as you are about to leave the square. Eighteen. Wow. Okay, so this rich guy down here, you notice as you're leaving. Um, I assume you're going out through the same exit that they did. Yep. Um, sort of starts, like, he goes to throw some money to the performers as they finish their songs and then starts feeling around. He's He can't find his purse. And then he calls one of the guards over. Are you still hanging around? Uh, I'm going to toss the coin purse down over this direction okay and move on okay you don't want to look inside you don't want to see what's in it okay no, it's not fine. worth it's not worth getting caught Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh in fact, your own coin purse let me you've you've just done that in front of two guards so let me just yeah you're fine clearly you were doing it behind that woman that's walking along with random books and things. Um, so yeah, you will make your way down. Uh, as you get to these guards, I'm going to roll a perception. Nope, you're fine to get past them. And you'll know to go down. And you'll catch up to about here. And I'll roll a perception. Ooh. A lingering stare. <laughs> Ooh. So, yeah, they will kind of look at you. like, And then one of them will look at a poster nearby and then look at you. And then you'll be allowed to go past. And uh, on that note, I think we should take the top of the hour.